Sometimes movies and TV can convince us that something is terrifying, even when it's really not. One example, bats. They're actually kind of cool, kind of cute, and most of them don't suck our blood or have sidekicks named Robin. The truth is, bats are far more useful than they are scary, and like us, they need nice homes. Now, there are innovators who are putting in the labor to make bats your neighbor. Here's Ali Ward to explain. If you want to be one with nature while staying home, befriend the bats. These little bat houses, aka bat B&Bs, are made for our mostly nocturnal friends, and you can install them on your home or barn, in the city, or in the country. This is Christopher Ranafor with his dog, Francis, and this is Harrison Broadhurst. Together, Chris and Harrison are the team behind Bat b and Bat b and in its simplest form, is a perfectly designed home for an increasingly misunderstood and increasingly threatened animal that also turns out to be incredibly beneficial to us. Now, if your bat intel has come from vampire movies alone, hear this. Did you know that having bats around can help keep the mosquito count down? The primary benefit of coexisting with bats in our lives is the pest control element. So a single bat will eat up to a thousand mosquito-sized insects an hour, and that's mosquitoes and garden beetles and moths. A lot of people think that all bats suck blood, and they don't. Yeah, it's, re know. it's really only the vampire bat that only lives in Central America and primarily only feeds on cattle. Bat B&Bs are made of durable western red cedar and incorporate interior chambers with slatted panels for the bats to fly up into and to hold on to. Once inside, they can climb up or down to regulate their temperature, providing a thermal gradient for the bats to stay comfortable. I took a night flight to Lexington, Kentucky to hang out and talk bats. So is it a matter of build it or hang it and they will come? They have to find the house, first yeah. of all. Yeah, but... that's what a lot of people ask. They're like, am I guaranteed to get bats if I put this thing up? And bats are wild animals. There's never a guarantee. But the most important thing is location, location, location. This thing will look beautiful on a tree. But the reality is bats don't love them on a tree for two reasons. Number one, trees are shady, and a bat house needs six or more hours of direct sunlight a day. Number two, predators live in trees. The Bat b, b has come in four different designs, and each is constructed to foster symbiosis between people and bats. We went to the wood shop to see where these benevolent bat b and bs were built. What are these for? Are these for mounting it? Actually, those are vents. Oh, so does that keep the temperature consistent, or does it give different temperatures so they can go to different areas? Right, exactly. They can move up and down within the box and kind of have a, some semblance of climate control within. We implemented this sliding dovetail design so that all of these pieces would just slide together, and then the roof really just kind of holds everything in. The parts are actually trapped in the dovetail, so they can't move. With the invaluable scientific help of bat researcher, conservationist, and friend, Merlin Tuttle, Harrison and Chris have crafted new worlds that they hope bats will cling to. You know, so the bats will want to hang out, like uh, this. Just uh, hanging out in Kentucky. Bat people, best people to hang out with, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm.